I would say that uh, certainly when I first came to town, one of the more inspiring things one can see, and, and, and few people get to see it, sadly, um, is John Williams at a session with one of his scores, is that uh, John, of course, as everyone knows, he conducts from his sketch. And why does he conduct from his sketch? Oh, because of noise, because when he opens his score here, he's got about 32 bars he can actually lay out in front of him before he has to have a page turn. And of course, in a recording situation, that's what you, you never want to do is actually turn a lot of pages. And when we have these big scores that we now all have, and they're sometimes going, few have put are smart about it, but if you're going every eight bars, you're make you're turning, turning. But this I want to really get to is that when you when you see John conduct, um, and I'm thinking of something like in JFK, a, a dialogue scene, uh, John only has his eyes two places on the screen and in the orchestra. He's never lo actually looking at his music because the music's in his head. And he knows how the scene goes and he knows what his music is and he has a direct connection with it. And so he's always looking at what's on the screen because he knows where everybody's talking. And then he also knows who's important in the orchestra. And I would say that this is the goal for all of us. Particularly if you're a composer and conducting your score, this should really be uh, your goal is to know your music so perfectly. And, and sometimes it's hard because uh, sometimes I guess we have to write music in two weeks. But that's the ultimate goal is to be able to be engaged with the orchestra and engaged with the film. And then you'll be uh, golden. So